Hello, my name is Jesse Mountain. I'm a mindfulness teacher and a dog trainer. And dog trainer is kind of a, a misstatement. I'm actually a um, communicator with animals. And I use this thing that I call the secret language of the animal kingdom to communicate with animals and humans too. A lot of our own communication happens at the unconscious level, at the emotional level, and at the level of body language. And I found that my work in communicating with, with dogs has really helped me improve my communication, all my relationships with people. And recently I posted uh, a little excerpt from my book. I was talking called The Peaceful Alpha, an enlightened guide on dog training. And in it, I'm talking about what I call the five pillars of the secret language of the animal kingdom. And today I'm gonna to talk on something one of the pillars and it's a really simple idea it's this idea about non-reactivity which i got from meditation training and when i observed the really influential animals um, the alphas in a pack i noticed that they're incredibly aloof they're non-reactive to all kinds of stimulation that's happening within their direct environment whether it's communication with other animals in the pack or basically anything that would trigger the rest of the pack, it's not really triggering them. And it's not triggering them because they don't care. It's triggering them because they're so present and so aware of everyone in their pack and of their direct environment that they've already assessed it as a non, a non threat or a non thing that they need to react to. And the biggest benefit of the skill of non-reactivity is that you begin to get perceived by everyone as this calm, cool cucumber. And when you do react, it has so much more power. It has so much more power because you're seen as someone who is just in tune with everything and in tune with their thoughts and in tune with the environment. So if you are communicating, there's this deep sort of innate understanding and everyone around them that, wow, okay, this guy's gonna say something important. And this is an idea that I take uh, into dog training, which is, you know, stop talking, stop, stop making noise around your dog, stop distracting it, stop letting my own emotional distractions or my own little habits influence my dog's behavior. It's so much better just to be calm and non-reactive so that when they are doing something that I want to maybe stop or communicate to them about stop so just barking at the door, I have a lot more influence with them. Now the same principle is also good in relationships. If you're always seen as someone who talks, 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 then the message you're really sending is I don't have anything important to say. Um, which makes it really tough for you because when you do have something important to say, it doesn't carry the same amount of weight. So this idea of non-reactivity, it's really difficult. It's really difficult to contain yourself uh, when something's happening and, and just to be meditative about it, internalize it, process it, be still, uh, don't show any, extra reaction in your body and this sort of thing takes some training some meditation training and they sort of all go this sort of all goes hand in hand being a mindful communicator using uh, body language that all animals know to communicate we have to have control over ourselves. we have to have control over our thoughts they don't have to be placid we just have to step back and be back a layer and insulated enough from reactivity so that we can be calculated about how we act and how we speak. So this first pillar seems really simple and the benefits are really simple, but it does take a little bit of time to practice. And the best practice we can do is just a little bit of meditation every day, any kind of meditation you want. And that's all for now.